Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy JDRFT and welcome back to another pretty crazy video. Today we're gonna be back for another COD Zombies video and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about my wish list for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. As you guys know, on the 26th of August, they revealed the Cold War trailer also confirming zombies with it. Due to the hype for zombies, I feel like this wish list for Cold War Zombies would be a really good idea just to see what would actually be put into the game. And without any further ado, let's get right into the wish list. So the first thing that I want on my wish list seems kind of stupid, but I just want to be realistic due to the other game that happened was having better graphics. So if you guys know from BO1, the graphics were okay. BO2, it has advanced and got better. Black Ops 3 was a complete change from Black Ops 1 and 2, but once BO4 came, it seemed like it downgraded even though it was on a new gen console. That's saying, since Cold War is going to be on the PS5, there should be absolutely no excuse for it having any bad graphics, and it should be top tier in my opinion. I basically just want it to be like BO3 graphics, but even better because it's on the PS5, and I just don't want it to go down lower than BO4. Although this is a short topic, it's also a really important one because I just don't want the same thing to happen with Cold War when BO3 transitioned to BO4. But being completely honest, I think COD 2020 got in the bag and I think we don't really have anything to worry about since it's coming on the PS5. So that's going to be the first thing on our wish list. Let's move on to the next topic. The next topic I really want to talk about is no DLC maps that are remakes or reimagines. Okay, I know what you guys are saying. You guys are basically saying, why wouldn't you want old maps or OG maps so then you can play it? Now I totally agree with what you guys are saying, and I would definitely appreciate having OG zombie maps to play once again. Maps like Transit, Die Rise, and Buried are coming back, and I'm definitely really happy to see them, but the thing about it is that I wouldn't want any remakes or reimagines to happen in the 4 DLCs that we get in the span of a year. To elaborate more on what I'm trying to say, Black Ops 4 is a great example of this. On Black Ops 4's launch day, 2 out of the 4 maps, which were 5 and Mob of the Dead, were actually remade in BO4, which were classified and Blood of the Dead. And once again, 2 out of the 4 DLC zombie maps in Black Ops 4 were reimagined, which were Alpha Omega and Tactical Toten, and their original maps were Call of the Dead and Nuketown. So that being said, I just want new content and new maps to be made, so we don't have to keep on playing the same old maps but remastered. That way we'll have a lot of replayability and we won't really get bored of the maps that come out. That's gonna be the second wish I want on my wish list. let's move on to the next topic. The next thing I want on my wish list is definitely something I think everybody would also want, and that is to bring back the old perks, but with a twist. Obviously, you guys know the four main perks of COD Zombies, which are Juggernaut, Speed Cola, Double Tap, and Quick Revive. And these four perks would be known as clutch perks because every single game you would get into, you would always get them. There would really be no real strategy to it, and you would just do it over and over again, and some zombie players thought it wasn't really fair. With this idea proposed, BO4 was a game that came out with perks that weren't our original 4 perks, but it still was a flawed system. They changed the whole entire perk system up by not having a specific perk, but having multiple and setting them on a specific statue. Now on paper, it sounds like a great idea because it sounds like you could create a strategy for yourself and go in game and have what you want. But in gameplay, it wasn't really as fun because we didn't have our original perks to get. And with that created a lot of controversy and a lot of problems in the zombies community, which led to people not really liking BO4. So for Cold War Zombies, what I would like is to have our original perks, but to have a small twist or an upgrade added to it. Now similar to Black Ops 3's Pack-A-Punch system where you could upgrade it once and then you could do it a second time to get Blast Furnace, Fireworks, or Turn, I would love to see this sort of concept incorporated with perks. A cool example to see would be like maybe Jug, instead of having 6 hits, you could get hit another 1 or 2 times so you could be hit 7 or 8 times to be down. Or for Quick Revive, instead of being revived 3 times in solo and being able to revive faster in multiplayer, maybe you can actually move around freely after you die, so then if you want to get away from a crowd after you're down, you could be like a zombie that moves freely. Small ideas like this could possibly change the game forever if they're implemented, because we don't know how it would work gameplay wise, and it might be a new way to actually strategize when you play zombies. That's gonna be the third wish on my wish list. let's move on to the next topic. The fourth thing I would like on my wish list would be to have bigger maps in Cold War. Before I quickly explain, I just want to say that I do appreciate every single map that Treyarch puts out as I know it takes them a really long time to work on every map. But obviously this is just a wish that I would like and it would be cool to be in the game. So to continue, maps like Transit, Mob of the Dead, and Origins are so fun just because they're really big and there's a lot of content to be displayed in their maps. 
Also to add on, when I say I want bigger maps, it doesn't necessarily have to be width and lengthwise, but it could also be in height. An example of a map that incorporates height would be Die Rise and Voyage of the Spare. Now I know these maps were received poorly by the zombies community and not a lot of people like these maps, but I feel like that if Treyarch got the concept of having different levels and executed it properly, it would make such a great map. I feel like the best map to describe this would be Mob of the Dead as it's really big in length and width, not to mention that it's good in height because there's multiple levels in the cell blocks. Thus being said, I feel like if the length, width, and height were to be increased, that would be the perfect concept and formula to create the best zombie map in Cold War. That's gonna be the fourth wish on my wish list, but before we get into the last topic, I want to explain three honorable mentions, and I put them here because they're really small topics and I don't really want to talk about them too much. So let's get right into it. The first one is going to be a restart button. I feel like a lot of people could definitely vouch for me on this one, because this would be so useful when playing a game of zombies. Maybe you're a speedrunner and you want to quickly speedrun, but then you mess up, you can quickly restart. Or maybe your game isn't going so well in the first couple of rounds, so maybe you want to restart and get everything back. Small things like this could definitely help your gameplay out and make things a lot faster instead of going into local play or restarting the game completely. Second is having some sort of game saver. Now there's a lot of people who try to go for high rounds when they play zombies, but sometimes you can't go for a really high round due to you having to sleep or maybe your console's having limitations because it might overheat. Being able to save the game will allow players to come back and grind even harder once they're back well and refreshed. I feel like this is definitely something every single COD zombie player would want, especially the high round community. And our last honorable mention, which may probably not happen, but it's definitely a wish and a lot of people's other wish, is to have custom zombies. Due to the PS5 having really good specs, I think it is possible to have custom zombies, but it's just gonna be hard creating them and putting them publicly on console. So that's gonna be my honorable mentions, let's move on to our last topic. Moving on to our fifth and last thing I want on my wish list is going to be competitive zombies. I know a lot of zombie players are actually just casual, but there is a large portion of people who play competitive zombies, such as doing speed runs, going for high rounds, or entering in small tournaments to make a bit of cash. Since zombies never had a competitive game mode before, the only way to actually compete is by actually getting high rounds and looking at the leaderboards, or people going on different websites to post their stats. I feel like if they were to add a competitive game mode to zombies, it'd be really cool to see a large variety of people with different skills. Also, it would be cool to have tournaments, so then if people were to want to get cash, there could be small tournaments like getting to a high round the fastest, or to maybe speedrun something in order to get a little bit of cash. It'd be really cool to see Treyarch add small tournaments in-game so then they could have players engaged. This could work similarly to Fortnite's cash cups where they can make money every couple of weeks, and by getting to the very top of the leaderboards, you could make some cash. Okay guys, this is going to be the end of my wishlist for Cold War Zombies. If you guys felt like I missed anything and you feel like I could add more, please say it in the comments down below. But without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Pa -pa -pa. Peace!